right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is September 11th, Wednesday, a day which will live in infamy in our country's history. And, uh, well, a day that I'll remember for a long time because Tony just got out of the hospital, just got out of brain surgery, and it uh, looks like she's going to make a full recovery. Thank you, everybody who sent their well wishes and prayers. And I'm giving you a little recap of the whole situation for those of you that did not know about uh, what happened here at the bottom of this email. But, you know, I cannot resist a sale, especially when it comes to one of my favorite wines, Brunello de Montalcino. And uh, the Frigiali, the Centellani uh, group here makes some of the best Brunello in Montalcino. The 2004 vintage, an outstanding vintage. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of hype involved in this because 2002 was a horrible vintage. A lot of the great producers didn't even make their Brunello de Montalcino and their top cuvées in 2002. 2003, a lot of controversy in 2003, a very hot year. And that was a year, yep, the big guys got caught mixing the Cabernet with the Sangiovese. A big no-no for Brunello de Montalcino because, by law... This is one of the DOCGs in Tuscany, and uh, they have to make 100% Sangiovese-based wine. So they do have Cabernet in some of the vineyards because they make these things called Super Tuscans, but uh, not allowed to put it with the Sangiovese. So 2003, a little bit of a controversy there. 2004 was the first really good vintage uh, in a couple years that they had to talk about. Of course, 2001 was great. And, you know, Brunello by Laws released after on its fifth year. And, uh, you know, it's still not ready to drink. And a great vintage like 2004, I think you want at least 10 years after the vintage. And then, you know, you can keep the wines for 20, 30 years or more, especially a great wine like this Donna Olga. This is the top cuvee from the Centellani Group. And uh, Olga Palusa, a good friend, we've had her in town several times to do events. And she is coming back. For those of you that will be here for our Symphony of the Americas event, she's going to host one of our tables on 15th of November, I think it is, but uh, it's on our calendar of events, and Olga is going to be one of our winery personalities at the event. You can tell when I like a wine, we buy it in all sizes. This is the, the three liter size, which is approximately four bottles, which is enough for, you know, six to eight people. I mean, you know, when you look at a bottle or two per person, you could probably do two three liter bottles in a, with eight people. And uh, this wine is, uh, well, the vineyards are located about five uh, kilometers away from the surrounding walls of Montalcino, the city, and uh, they're terraced. They slope uh, down at a height from four, 400 to 270 meters. So the grapes from those higher blocks give you a little long lasting perfume and a lot of acidity and you give long life to the age to the wine and then the lower blocks are the ones that uh, have more tannins and polyphenols to give the wine a more velvety and full body texture they blend these together and they make about 2,000 cases of this wine that's it and they do have about 250 acres of vines to or vineyard total in Montalcino they got three different labels the Frigiali label is the one we're the most familiar with but uh, this is the top wine made at this estate. Like I said, just a few thousand cases produced every year. This 2004 starting to come into maturity now. Good amount of red cherry and wild plum fruits. A little old saddle leather porcini mushroom there showing. And uh, really coming together nicely on the palate. Some lovely silky tannins coming out in this wine. And wonderful freshness. This wine's got a firm underbelly of acidity holding things together. Which would lead me to believe you've got at least another decade or more in your cellar with this wine. Most excellent juice, a very long finish. Check it out. Our sale on Donna Olga, 49 bucks. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this wine's regular around 80 bucks, so almost 40% off the regular price here at $49 on sale. The 2004 vintage of Donna Olga. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, Remember, always drink the good stuff first.